Welcome to Photoshop Desire YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make still photograph into motion picture. First open image in a new document. Cut out subject man from the background. There are a lot of techniques for cut out selection, but I use pen tool here. Oh, I got selection for extracting man from the background. Keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus J to copy the selection into new layer. Now I need to clear the man from the original background. So click selection and then modify expand by 12 pixels. Now selection expands by 12 pixels and now fill it with content aware. Photoshop done a good job but I will make it more clean with clone stamp tool. No need to be perfect here because we cover this area with man in front of it while adding motion. My idea is to add fog also moving from left to right. Now let's create fog in Photoshop. I already uploaded tutorial on how to create fog in Photoshop. Make a new layer and name it fog. Enter quick mask mode. Keyboard shortcut Q. Go to filters and add difference clouds. Exist quick mask mode and we got new selection. Fill the selection with white. Deselect selection. Ctrl plus D. Scale fog layer with transform tool. With this step we completed creating all three layers background, man and fog for motion picture. Now create a new document size of HD video resolution. Drag and drop all three layers into new document. Convert all three layers into smart object. From window menu tab, select timeline feature and click create video timeline. All three layers automatically adds to timeline. Now we change the layer position and scale. Like for background, I want to zoom out. So I will add keyframe at start and reduce scale and add keyframe at the end.
so background transforms from big to small frame by frame. Similarly, I will add keyframe for man layer also. But this time I will do the opposite to background. I want man to be zoom in. Now add movement for fog. Add key frame at start and change position and again add key frame at end. So it makes fog to travel from one point to another. Click ramp preview to see the parallax effect. At very first time, preview takes so much time to render because it has to apply effect frame by frame. Once you are happy with the result, click render video button. Select output folder and media encoder. Start render and save your video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and also like and share the video with your friends.